Hey friends, welcome back to the vlog. We are at Gymshark HQ for the second time in a few months. We're here to hang out with Steve Hewitt, who is the executive chairman and old CEO of Gymshark. He was CEO when the company was, I think he took it from 5 million revenue to like a billion or 500 million, something like that. So he's giving us some business advice, uh, super nice guy, and very gracious of him to spend the time to coach us in the world of business. So. We'll see what happens. How was your driver? That was very good, very did, pleasant. Did you train it or drive it? Uh, we drove it, yeah. Because you're king Quite a nice journey. The uh, we're in London now, so we moved to oh. London. Yeah, so we came from our studio with all our... Which part of London? So how are things going? Pretty good. Good. This yeah. is going well. Reasonable start to the year. Yeah. Your, um, your, your advice about identifying North Star and all that was, was, was very useful. And we've now been like thinking in those terms. But I worry that we've made some decisions that are away from North Star. <laughs> Okay, let's um, get in touch. Let's get yeah. in touch um, this morning. How, how many people have yeah. you involved in the North Star decision? Uh, four of us. Me, yeah. Angus Gordon, and Dan, who is our uh, sort of head of people, as it were. Easily doable? No. <laughs> okay, it's a challenge, right? Yeah. But doable. Doable. Because it's important that your fiscal aspiration mm. also talks back to your North Star. So don't have yeah. this North Star which doesn't talk back to your fiscal aspiration. Because all you'll do is you'll demalt every you'll demalt everybody, including yourselves. Um, because if you think you can get to ten million, but the reality is you can only really get to seven. Mm then you'll just think you're failing all of the time. So that's why I ask whether the oh, 10 okay. million is achievable. So having a number, an aspiration number is nice, but if it's not achievable, I like the fact it's challenging, but if it's not achievable, you will demotivate everybody in the organization, mm -hmm. including yourselves, because they'll just feel like you're part of something that is failing. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, this is why I'm not a fan of, of numbers in, in, in the sense that the difference to anyone's lives of like five million to 10 million is negligible. I don't need more money in my life. <laughs> Even if everyone had their salaries doubled, we could, we'd still, five million would be completely adequate. So uh, I, I kind of feel that this thing of like, growth is good, but also like, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. You're right, but the maths have to work, right? So the reason I ask the question is not about, well, oh, you guys want to earn more money. Yeah. It's actually about the, the, the structural organization being able to be built to, or the number to be able to support the structure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? I'm going to talk about your penal in a second. Think, think about brand yeah. Yeah. as an internal creative content agency. Okay. Yes. And then all the commercial stuff is done by a commercial the courses, one. the products, the stationery, the live courses. And this person's not the most. So this person should back to my colours. Yes. These people in here, yellows, creative. Yeah. Don't care about data. Yeah. Certainly don't care about the numbers. Yeah. All they want to do is they want to make the best possible content yes. at whatever cost yes. internally, by the way. He does not care about yeah. how much this camera costs. <laughs> yeah. He just knows that this is going to produce the best possible content. Yeah. You guys think so? Um, yeah. Listen, super excited about what you're building. Yeah, thank you. And again, if we can help, then we're uh, happy to. Be amazing. Really appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. Yeah, this has been wonderful. Like Thanks so many, <laughs> I feel like my mind, mind was blown every ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> this is great stuff. I actually, do want to. Do, I actually do want to make some tea. Oh, I've got a thing, Mike, so you can. Or should I? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do this kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Right. So we are back from. GSHQ. That was an absolutely sick session hanging out with Steve. What an absolute legend. Freaking love him. Um, yeah, just like incredibly gracious of him to spend three hours with us despite being a busy man. Just like helping us out and giving us this sort of free impromptu sort of business coaching session. Um, so many things that he talked about that just completely blew our minds. Just, every, every 10 minutes I was, felt I was having an epiphany. I was just like, oh my God, this is so, this is so good. Um, we did some work on the org chart figuring out that, realizing that Angus has got too many direct reports and that that needs to kind of be cut down or the org needs to be restructured a bit. We did some work around internal communications, 
all, all of this is going to sound like business jargon. Um, he talked about like our North Star, our, reasons for, our reason for being, a little bit about values, and he shared some of the lessons that he's um, gotten through like 20 years worth of management experience, and then the last like six years of being CEO of Gymshark. So it's like all around absolutely sick conversation. And now he's given us some homework to do. We need to do a restructure of the org chart. We need to figure out our North Star, work with the team to figure out the values and stuff as well. And then potentially we also need to hire a financial controller, which is someone who can help keep our, keep our finances in check because that is currently something that is a bit of a struggle. And now we're back in the studio. It's a bit of a mess, to be honest. But we actually have some exciting new stuff. For, so for example, Aperture very kindly sent us the P300C Nova, which is as bright as the sun. So I'm going to turn that on. I'm going to turn that on. Whoa, absolutely next level. And this is also, it changes color. Like what the hell? You can literally change the color. I don't know if the white balance is on auto or whatever. It's going mental. <laughs> like this is a color changing light. It's huge. It's absolutely freaking enormous. Oh, pink. Look at that. Purple, purple, what vibes? What vibes indeed. Yeah, so this is absolutely sick. We also have the Rhino Slider Arc 2 arrived today. This is going to be lit. The Gordon is going to be playing around with these to make B-roll in our videos much more dense. And we spent the last hour kind of going back and forth, figuring out the best way to like structure our content meetings and stuff. So all in all, great day of thinking about ways to work on the business rather than in the business. So yeah, thank you so much, Steve, for being an absolute legend. I don't know if you're watching this, you're probably busy, but like, Fantastic guy, absolute legend all around. I think I'm in love with a 48 year old man, which is kind of weird. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this vlog. Click here for the previous one, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later. <laughs>